Hello, brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, the grid workers, the change makers, and the awakened collective. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message for you from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for May 4th, 2023. And the title of this message is Sensitive Ones, You Are Accessing Your Gifts. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are a very sensitive collective, and we have the ability to sense what is going on in all parts of the galaxy. We have been stretching ourselves to reach more of the corners, if you will, of this universe of ours with that sensitivity that we do already have. We are telling you this because we want you to know that your sensitivity is something that has been a challenge for you, but you are becoming better at using it rather than let it be something that just happens in your day-to-day -day life experiences. In other words, you can train yourself to be sensitive to what you want to be sensitive to, and you do not have to be sensitive to that which brings you more of the pain and suffering that you have experienced in this life because of that sensitivity you have. We know that it is hard. We know that what we are telling you to do is something that you will have a difficult time with, and we want you to know that you've already had a difficult time with being sensitive in this life. And yet, here you are. Now that you can see it more as a tool that you are meant to use in your life, you can use it more effectively to help yourselves and others. For example, if you are sensitive to the emotions of other people and you come across someone who is having a hard time, you can become aware of that and know that it is the right time to approach that person and ask them what's going on with them. If it is a person you don't know or don't feel comfortable doing that with, and you know that's the person who needs more love, more healing, and more of the space holding than you can do for them. Now we know that many of you are tired of doing this, that you have become exhausted from doing this, but we know that is the case because you haven't really honed the ability yet. And that's the next step for those of you who are sensitive. The next step is to hone your abilities, to use it as a gift and as a tool, and to also use it to help yourselves. So when you walk into a room and you use your sensitivity to tell you which people to approach, which people to leave alone, and so on, then it becomes a tool that you are using for yourself as well. When you use it in regards to information that you are seeing, hearing about, you can also then use it to guide you as to whether that information is relevant to you or whether it's even true in your reality. And you need that discernment more than ever at this time because there is a lot of information out there and there are a lot of agendas behind the spreading of certain information. So your sensitivity is something that also helps you to then create your reality because you are sensitive to what's going on in your emotional center and what's going on with other people. Then you can also be sensitive in regards to your vibration and you can shift it more easily with that awareness of what you're feeling feeling, where you're feeling it, and where you can feel what you actually want to feel because you can be sensitive to where your joy lies in your chakra system, for example. It is time for those who are more sensitive to be the leaders of this world that you are living in. And now is the best time for you to start seeing this as a gift and as a tool, and we are here to help. We help by pointing you in the right direction and giving you the tools to better use the tools that you have, and we will continue to do so. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. There's all different levels of being sensitive for humans. There's the total impasse that pick up on everybody's frequencies. There's the people that are just sympathetic for someone that's in a sad situation. And that probably applies to most of us here that are listening to this transmission. This marvelous message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com and his YouTube channel is simply his name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light. Always honored and very grateful to be able to bring these powerful messages to all of you. Mm -hmm.